Good morning, Conflict and Courage, August 5th, Elijah's successor. 1 Corinthians 15, 51 and 52 says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. In the desert, in loneliness and discouragement, Elijah had said that he had enough of life, and had proved and had prayed, sorry, that he might die. But the Lord in his mercy had not taken him at his word. There was yet a great work for Elijah to do. And when his work was done, he was not to perish in discouragement and solitude. Not for him the descent into the tomb, but the ascent with God's angels to the presence of his glory. And Elisha saw it and he cried, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. He took also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he had also had smitten the waters, they parted here and there. And Elisha went over. And when the sons of the prophets, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they said, the spirit of Elijah is rested on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. When the Lord in his providence sees fit to remove from his work those to whom he has given wisdom, he helps and strengthens their successors. If they will look to him for help and will walk in his ways, they may even be wiser than their predecessors, for they may profit by their experience and learn wisdom from their mistakes. Elijah, the man of power, had been God's instrument for the overthrow of gigantic evils. A successor to Elijah was needed, one who by careful, patient instruction could guide Israel in safe paths. For this work, Elisha's early training under God's direction had prepared him. Every act of life is a revelation of character, and he only who in small duties proves himself a workman that needeth not to be ashamed will be honored by God with weightier trust. Hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.